Welcome to Pello Buddy TV. This is the very first episode. Joining me today is my co-host Amanda Segal. Amanda? Hello Mark and welcome everybody. We're so thrilled that you um, have taken the opportunity to take a listen at what's new in the Peloton world. How exciting Mark. Isn't it really? You know Pello Buddy is a really, is really a, it's a new unofficial weekly TV show and podcast. It's for the Peloton community and it's by the Peloton community. And Amanda, I'm so excited. Are you? I am so excited, Mark. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for all of us crazy Peloton um, fanatics to know everything that's going on um, be kept up to date. Um, we're going to give you a little bit of everything. But as Mark said, this is for you guys. This is for the community. We want to hear from you. We want you to be part of this um, and really enjoy um, each week what's going on in the Peloton world. Do you know what we've partnered with the uh, partnered with the awesome go to news and resort website Pello Buddy, which was set up by Chris Lewis around about two years ago, and to have his skill and his talents and his website, his resources is going to make all the difference to what we're doing. Don't you think, Amanda? I do. I think it's an amazing opportunity, and um, Pello Buddy has been something that I know lots of folks have jumped on and have had the opportunity, as we said, to really keep up to date with what's going on in the Peloton world. Um, and as we'll produce this each week, you'll be able to see um, firsthand. So now it's time for Pello News, and uh, just a quick shout out to Chris Lewis from Pello Buddy. Dot com who has helped and assisted us in putting this news together. So uh, thanks, Chris. Um, we're going to start off with the earnings call uh, that was uh, mentioned this week. It's the official quarter earnings call, which will take place on September the 10th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Amanda, what do you think about this? I think that's really important. I mean, it's a little later than we thought it would be, but it gives an opportunity for folks to see how amazingly well Peloton has done um, on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, it's quite amazing if we go back to March, where the um, you know the, the the price of the stock was really at probably its lowest, um, and how it's increased up to where it is today. Um, I know I was excited um, having bought stock when it first was um, you know <laughs> came onto the stock stock market, and here I am today i'm um, very very chuffed and pleased uh, that i own some of peloton stock how about you mark do you know what it's always that wish i'd done that um <laughs> yes i wish i'd bought them but i unfortunately i didn't uh but you know what i think somebody else has been selling their shares as well over the last uh, week or so in fact over the last uh, 12 months and that's nbc they, isn't it uh, yes Amanda? they certainly have they certainly have and i think they too have seen um you know what is what has transpired certainly over this um crazy um, pandemic period with COVID and how folks have jumped on the Peloton bandwagon, which clearly has made a huge impact on the stock. Um, and I guess NBC recognized that um, it was pretty high up and did sell some of their shares. So to see having having had gone from, you know, $19 yeah. to I believe market close 73 um, on Friday is pretty amazing. It is. It is. It is. And uh, do you know what? I can see it may be going higher. And I think at some point I'm going to have a, I'm going to jump in and buy some shares, Amanda. I think it's about time. I think so too, Mark. I definitely sold a couple last week because I felt that the time was right, but I'm looking forward to maybe to eat down a little bit and, and then pick up some more. So we'll we'll have to chat about that and make sure we do that together. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your advice, Amanda. Okay, That's so for the uh, the second uh, news item, we, um, we're going to talk about uh, an announcement from Peloton who mentioned that um, we have a new featured artist series starting this week. Uh, Amanda, uh, it's time this, to party like 1999. 1999, Mark. This has been absolutely incredible. And I've been very much a part of the artist series. I think it's been a wonderful way to collaborate with, you know, amazing artists that we love to listen to their music and to be able to jump on a bike or on a tread um, and listen to the music of these um, infamous um, stars out there has been amazing. But who better than Prince? And to honor Prince, we have the amazing Ali Love and Emma. Emma Love Well, uh, who are going to do a two for one ride. Yeah. Um, and that's going to happen on um, Wednesday evening, 7.30 p.m. East Coast time. So a little late for you guys over there in the UK and throughout the rest of the European world. Yeah. Well, but um, for I've us- I've got some news on that, Amanda. I've got some news yes. on that. So it's, it's, it's hot news. Um, so the UK Peloton communities are gonna to put together uh, a Puck community ride um, on Saturday the 15th of August, so um, at 10 a.m. in the UK. And uh, if you use the tag P 
puck, uh, the puck tag, you also have a chance of winning a £100 Peloton Apparel voucher. So everyone's welcome. Uh, if you're not a member of the puck community, then by all means, join us. And that's going to be a lot of fun, don't you think, Amanda? Oh, I think that's a brilliant idea because I was a little sad for the um, UK folks not being able to jump on at that at that time. So what a wonderful opportunity for folks to be able to um, to join on on the Encore ride. And I'm sure you'll get a lot of us jumping back on on Saturday morning because uh, I absolutely. think this is going to be an epic ride. I think this is going to be an epic ride. Yeah, I, you know, I loved Prince growing up and... Uh, yeah, he's um, he, he he was so iconic, wasn't he? He was just an incredible. Certainly shows our talent. age, right, Mark? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It just just a little bit, doesn't it, Amanda? But you know what? I mean, look, I, I think everybody today can just appreciate the incredible music that Prince put out there, and sure. you know, to being able to sweat to it in our um, sparkly fitness bubbles, um, as our as our wonderful Leanne Hansby, um, uh, you know, will say, we are certainly going to sweat and um, oh, sparkle yeah. to oh, Prince. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So for the third bit of news, Manda, over to you to talk about the, the Peloton, because it's over. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah, let's kind of delve into Peloton a little bit. Um, mm. I know for myself it was um, just a wonderful way of bringing the community together. I think it allowed um, us to venture out a little bit. For some of us that kind of stick to certain um, instructors, it was an opportunity to get to sure. learn um, a little bit about the others. Um, and then just form, you know, a community with a team that you ended up joining. Um, I think overall, it was a huge success. I think that folks really did enjoy it. Um, I think, Mark, you'll agree, there's a little bit room for improvement. And um, yeah. maybe you can touch on, on what, we felt, what we felt didn't quite go right. Yeah, so I think there was, there was a few issues with the high-fiving, wasn't there, uh, which I picked up on. I mean, to be honest, Amanda, I, I didn't really take part in it. I, I, I kind of signed up initially and went with the Friday the Friday crew. But, yeah, I kind of lost touch with it, and there was a lot of things going on, and I love the live tribe rides. And um, so, yeah, so I, I think, you know, picking up on information from the community, there was certainly uh, room for improvement. But isn't there anything that, that that's new? So I think, I think, we, I think we have to commend uh, Peloton. Uh, straight off here, I think it overall it's been a, it's been a big success, and uh, I think if they do it again, I'm sure they will. It'll be even better next time. Right, I just think it's a question of communication and sure. making sure that the members know, you know, what's expected. I think some things were communicated a little bit late. They changed yeah. the last week of it, but That's I think right. all in all, it, it really did. I, you know, I was part of High of Shine. Um, you know, had never worked out with Ross Rayburn or um, yeah. or Kristen McGee, and it gave sure. me an opportunity to get to, you know, do yeah. some workouts with them. Yeah. So I think all in all, it, it was a um, it was a wonderful way. But we'll look to see next year as to how they'll improve it. Um, and get more of the community involved. Absolutely. Okay, great. So uh, on to the next uh, news item, our last news item on this episode, and it's um, it's a new hire from Peloton. Um, it was announced that they have taken on board a senior vice president of marketing and communications. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it, Amanda? <laughs> Wow. But it's certainly going to help us um, yeah. in producing this show because yeah. hopefully um, um, her name is um, Dara um, Tresida. That's um, right. And I'm sure that Dara will, um, you know, really involve the community and, and continue to market Peloton the way it has. I know us as a community do our own marketing um, sure. in just the um, the, the passion and, and sure. how we love being on the bike. But it'll be nice to see it come from corporate um, and see how that, um, you know, spans out um, yeah, through the community yeah. wouldn't it be great to get her on the uh, one on an episode one week uh, amanda i do i think that should be our <laughs> mission mark i think that should be our mission absolutely okay that's that so that's the uh, that's the end of the news items Okay, so now it's time to mention Pelafondo. It was um, this was a challenge set in the puck community over in the UK. It was a challenge over two days where riders rode for a thousand miles, and I believe there was a number of teams, and it was a huge success. And um, yeah, so uh, the leaderboard, uh, the the winners were What the Puck. In second place were Quad Squad. Uh, in third place was Breakaway. In fourth place was Mother Puckers. In fifth place was Slingshot. And in sixth place was Puckabout. And uh, just want to say uh, a big shout out to those guys who, who came in number one. Um, and uh, yeah, look forward to maybe joining you guys on the next Polifondo. So now it's time for Pelo Shouts.
Lightwood looking good for 250. Jay Wildwood looking good. Stuart London, Piers B. Cheeky Mama. Jay Warwood, happy 300 today. Funky Tastic 850, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being amazing. For a lot of us, Getting a shout out is what it's all about, right? We long for that. And to hear it from one of our instructors that we love makes our journey and our ride so much more memorable. We encourage you guys, if you do get a shout out, email us. We will feature you just as we did um, in, the previous, um, in the previous clip. Um, you can email us at shoutouts at hellobuddy.com and the more the merrier we want to be able to celebrate continue to celebrate with all of you as we um, commemorate with you so now it's time for Pello tips and this episode is with a very good friend of mine Michael Murray uh, Michael is one of the top physios in the United Kingdom he looks after pro golfers and he works with um, leading sports people and he was um, he was really overjoyed to assist and help us with this series of pillow tips so um, Michael's going to discuss a little bit about um, doing exercises before we get on the rides and what we do when we come off the bike or the tread uh, so over to Michael hi everyone at Pello Buddy TV good to see you all and just to introduce myself my name is Mike from MN Physiotherapy in the UK Thanks for the introduction, Mark. I'm coming at you with the first Pello Tips edition with regarding physiotherapy advice. So what we wanna do is just try and give you as much information with regular content to try and look after your potential restrictions and also help you with your performance and achieving your goals within the Peloton group. So, Pello Buddies, my best advice I can provide you with is look after the potential restrictions. So with the professional athletes that I look after in the UK, ranging from runners, sprinters, professional cyclists, professional golfers, soccer players as you know them, football players over here in Europe, we all have to look after our potential restrictions because as humans we're all built differently. That's why it's important to listen to your potential issues. The majority of you will feel as a result of being obviously active in the community with regarding your pillow and um, goals that you set is potential hip restrictions, lower back restrictions and ensuring that you're looking after your core strength. So coming in future, future pillow tip sessions, we're just going to look at giving you the advice to mobilise these areas, learn how to assess where these restrictions are and also help you achieve your goals from a health, fitness and functional point of view. So between now and next time I see you, all I'd like you to do is try and think of the potential issues you feel from day to day. Some of you may feel none, some of you will be kind of thinking, my lower back gets a little bit stiff at work, the drive into the office, sometimes 20 minutes into a, into a ride I feel a little bit of hip tightness, restriction in these areas. Try and listen and understand your biomechanics of your body and those potential restrictions are areas I'm going to give some advice on in the future within the next editions of Pello Tips Physiotherapy. So, good to meet you all guys. Keep strong, keep working towards those goals and I'll be happy to see you soon to give you some advice. So, from the UK, take care and I'll see you all soon. Thanks, Michael. That was brilliant. And um, we look forward to future episodes and uh, all your good advice that you're going to give the whole uh, community. Now time for Pello Chat. And I've got a very good friend of mine on this episode. You'll have all heard of Ian Hooper. Uh, he's famous for his pink band around his head. There he is. Ian, welcome. Hey, Mark. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, very good. Summer's evening in the garden. What could be finer? Yeah, you've got a great set in there, Ian. I like it. I like it. Thanks. Yeah, so um, a lot of the guys in the uh, in the community will will know of you, um, but maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself, Ian, your, your kind of your background, uh, your family, your profession. So uh, go ahead, mate. Sure. Uh, well, I've had the bike for almost two years. Um, not quite the first group of people to get the bike in the UK, but um, an early adopter. Um, yeah, we, we were both early, weren't we? 
Yeah, we were. In fact, you yeah. were you were there in my first studio ride. In fact, I think you organised the first trip to the studio that I went on. So, yeah, um, I have it all to blame on you. Um, <laughs> so I, I live in uh, <laughs> I live in Cambridgeshire. Uh, I work in London. Well, I used to work in London. Now I work from my desk at home, and yeah. still have a job in London. Um, I'm a partner in a financial services consulting firm, um, okay. and when I'm not on the bike, um, I have uh, two kids a boy and a girl, uh, and a wonderful wife, Davina, who's also a Pelotoner. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, making the most of the upside of lockdown, um, plenty yeah. of family time, time to get fit, um, time for the garden. Um, it's not all bad. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, so how did you find the bike? Uh, tell us about the, um, the, the story behind that. Uh, I saw a TV advert and then a Facebook advert and uh, frankly didn't think anything more of it until uh, I started being bombarded with Echelon adverts. I don't know if you remember Echelon. I do. It's a competitor do. to Peloton. Couldn't fit into lunch hours and I really needed some way of exercising on a regular basis okay. and some way of having fun. It had to be fun. Um, sure. Above all else, it had to be fun. It um, has to be. I agree. Just looked uh, it just looked, you know, this this brilliant digital experience at home, you know, riding to battle at eleven o'clock at night, it was irresistible. <laughs> so, um, so Davina and I actually uh, bought each other a, a Peloton for Christmas that year, and it arrived in early January. I really didn't want it to arrive before Christmas because that would have ruined the whole week. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> and we had, uh, <laughs> and, and we really got into it in January. Uh, probably right. took about four or five months. I'd say to really get into our stride. Um, wow. uh, just getting used to exercising again, just getting used to Peloton, yeah. getting into the community. And you know, I think the whole sure. momentum around the community was growing. Sure. Um, sure. And eventually, eventually it became the addiction that it is today. And that's right. And, that, and that's what yeah. it is. Uh, we are really pe Peloholics, aren't we? Ian? I think we're <laughs> that's probably a very good way of putting it. We're probably the perfect examples. Now, like, you're, not, you're not only in one or two communities. Tell, tell us the communities that you're involved in, because um, it's really interesting, I think. Go ahead. Well, it's, it's, a real, uh, it's a real ball of string, isn't it? I think everyone's mm. in every community uh, in yeah. some, some way or another. Um, yeah. So uh, Peloton UK, uh, obviously the official Peloton page, um, yeah. Peloton Whoop Tribe. Um, so if you, yeah. Mark, you know the Whoop. Um, there we go, mate. Uh, there we go. There we fellow, go. Excellent, excellent. Fellow, fellow whoopers, fellow whoopers. Which uh, and really that group's about helping people to uh, to understand what we can do for you and getting to know yourself. Uh, sure. And everyone everyone finds it a little bit difficult to get their head around um, some of the insights, some of the metrics, and so forth. But if yeah. we if we all learn as a group, we all learn faster. We've now got about three hundred people in that group. Um, yeah. And then um, probably uh, most. Uh, I'm most excited about the UK mixed power zone team, uh, yeah. which uh, we are waiting for Angie to announce team members. Um, wow. It's got a working title of UK mixed. Uh, okay. There are a number of top secret names that we're mm. in the background. Okay. Um, no, no secrets here? Can you, can, well, you can't reveal um, some secrets? or. Well, you, you well, there won't be secrets then, will it? But can you reveal anything? Uh, well, I've already revealed one because I had to change my tag um, okay. to, uh, to to one working title, which was Carry On Bonking. Seemed like a very appropriate... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it seemed like a very appropriate UK name. Or um, original. <laughs> but fear not, yeah. fear not, there will be a poll and a competition in True Blue Peter style to uh, to come up with a team name once Angie has allocated okay. members. And when, when's this going live, Ian? When, when, do you know? Uh, well, the, the challenge starts on the 24th of August. Angie said that she's pulling together the um, the team rosters now. Uh, okay. Hopefully within a week we'll have all of the team names uh, right. and then right. we'll have the official Power Zone Facebook group for the team. And then okay. we can put the uh, the team poll out there and come up with a name. Yeah. And how, how many members do you think will get get involved in it? Ian? We need 120, um, but I think from from the interest we've had so far, I think probably I wouldn't be surprised if we hit the maximum of 300. Okay. I think wow. I think we're probably more worried about needing to splinter into sure. multiple teams than we are about sure. um, getting the minimum. 
there's been a lot sure. of positive response to it great great that's really good and we'll we'll kind of uh, follow that ian as um as time moves yeah, please on do. please see yeah it'll be great so yeah. are you, so, are you so, signed up mark uh not as yet not as yet ian um power but zone, who, power who, zone who knows <laughs> You know what? Yeah, I'm, I've never really done the power zones here. Um, I, I get it. Uh, I just, I just never. I'm really into the tribe, live tribe rides, yeah. Um, and, and yeah. So, I mean, but who knows? Who knows? Um, Ian, I mean, you've clearly set out some goals when you bought the uh, bought the bike. Uh, have you lost weight? Have you? How's it changed your your life in in terms of your physical and so on? Yeah, I think it's been it's been transformational. Um, so uh, as, a, as a young man, I did a lot of sport. I did a lot of kickboxing and weights in my teens and then a lot of rowing at university. Um, and just gradually over the years, piled on pound after pound after pound and um, okay. just lost, uh, lost touch with that physical side of my life, um, which was a, a, a real shame. Um, sure. And I've always been keen on sport, but but you know I just didn't make time for it. Um, yeah, and everything that goes with it. So it's a it's a uh, it's a circle, really, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. so I lost Cheers. I lost focus on diet and sleep. Um, yeah, just all the all the things that are really really important. Um, okay. And like many people, I'm coming up to fifty, uh, yeah. and I thought, right, I now have got to get fit. I've got to sort myself <laughs> out. Um, Wake up call. Yeah, it's a wake-up call um, for sure. Um, and so, within uh, I suppose within four or five months, I felt a huge amount better, a lot more mobile, yeah. a lot more physically fit. Um, but really, it was the second half of last year, I'd say, where yeah. I really started to train with uh, a lot more purpose. Um, sure. I changed my diet quite a lot, and so forth. Sure. And so now I've got a wardrobe full of suits that just don't fit. <laughs> um, I've still got, yeah, I've still got some good winter padding. Uh, I'm by no means skinny, but I, but yeah, I, I've lost mm, well over five, near enough eight stone in. Whoa! In wow! Uh, and that's amazing. Um, well, it's you know, it's just it's. Um, I've I haven't uh, denied myself anything. Uh, I haven't um, trained myself into the ground. Uh, I've just been slow and steady. As Ben would say, sure. Um, sure. and yeah, and over time, yeah, the the level of uh, level of training and the nutrition, uh, really focusing on sleep, has all yeah. really paid off. So I feel right. I feel immensely different as a human now yeah. to how I felt yeah almost two years ago. That's the beauty of Peloton, isn't it? And the bike, um, and of course, we we may well have the the mini tread coming at some point in the future. Ian, you've probably heard of the. Uh, the rumors around the UK. So that is that something that you would look to um, to purchase, or are you quite happy with with the, with the bike? Uh, I I'm not sure. I would spend more time on the tread than on the bike, but I think mm. Davina's really keen. Uh, okay. I've seen a photo um, through back channels of Ben okay. s sitting on a rowing machine with a Peloton oh. screen. Oh. Uh, I think that sounds quite interesting. Although I have I'm, to say, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I'm looking forward to it. if they if they do a rower, I will be first on that list, mate. We've uh, I, probably second to you. So, in reference to the uh, the pink headband, in what what is the story behind that? Because a lot of people be curious. I know I am. Uh, it's it's entirely accidental, but turned out to be quite a good little uh, gimmick. Um, okay. So, I, uh, I I like many people sweat quite a lot. Yep. in a ride and yep. um uh really needed a headband to uh to keep the sweat out of my eyes um and in the studio uh i put my pink headband on uh the lights came down uh and all of a sudden all i could see was a, a lightsaber <laughs> of a pink headband in the mirror uh and one of the studio crew came running out saying that's great don't take it off <laughs> um, Brilliant. So, so I haven't taken it off ever since, really. Um, and it's quite funny that I, I can't often see myself on uh, on demand rides, but I can all see the headband uh, in the studio. Brilliant. And and finally, uh, Ian, the um, your leaderboard name. Tell everyone what it is. Uh, it's, there it is. Um, it, it it doesn't have a great sentimental or philosophical meaning. Um, I'm a big James Brown fan, which I know is a little bit controversial, but you know, no one, <laughs> no one can quite do it like James Brown. Um, no. 
and uh, I was wandering through uh, through the streets of Amsterdam on holiday and so it yes. kind of it kind of fits it's not yeah a great story but it's a story yeah mate it's uh we we know where it comes from now that's the important thing so um so yeah i guess i guess everyone will uh, try and high five you now ian be ready for that uh, and i know they already do uh um, i'll upgrade we, the wi-fi yeah and, we, and i love riding with you Ian. i think when we're on a ride together it's always good we i know we go back and forth high five in and um it's brilliant so so that's it really uh thanks, thanks very much on. ian uh, for coming on it's been great having you and we'd love to have you back at some point in the future and get your progress with the, the power zones maybe and um and yeah it's uh, again thanks ian thank you very much very good Th thank you so much ian for such an amazing inspiring story and you know it's always fun to be able to see the um the person behind the leaderboard name and as we ride or run with folks on um you know on online um we, we don't know anything about them so we've enjoyed um i know that i did one um in the past with the puck community and it's always nice to be able to see these wonderful inspiring stories so if any of you um that have a wonderful story, an inspiring story that you'd love to share with us. We'd love to be able to share it with the rest of the community. So please feel free to email us at tv at pellobuddy.com and um, we'll reach out to you and do an interview and have you on. So please feel free to do that. Now we're over to Pello Live um, with Jem, who will talk about the upcoming live ride and yoga schedules in this coming week. Thanks, Amanda. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Palo Live. This is the section of the show where I run through the best runs and rides from the schedule for this week coming. So let's dive straight into it and get going. So Monday, 8 a.m., 1 p.m. UK time, we have Hannah Marie Corbin 70s ride. 10 a.m., 3 p.m. UK time, 20 minute 80s run with Chase Tucker. Tuesday, 10.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m. UK time, 20 minute intervals run with Robin. We have a 12.30, 5.30 UK time, 45 minute hip hop ride with Hannah Frankson. Wednesday, 7 p.m., which is midnight UK time, we have a 30 minute new tracks run with Adrian Williams. 7.30 p.m., uh, which is half past midnight in the UK, we have um, a Prince ride with Ali and Emma. Thursday, 7.30 UK time is a 20 minute Tabata ride with Hannah Frankson. 6 p.m., 11 p.m. UK time, we have a 30 minute interval and hour drive with Cozy Rigsby. Friday, 7 a.m., which is midday, we have a 20 minute pop run with Olivia Amato. Uh, 8 a.m., 1 p.m. UK time, 30 minute rock ride with Ben Aldis. Saturday, 8 a.m., 1 p.m. UK time, a 60 minute power zone ride with Matt Wilpers. 8.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., it's a 45 minute pop run with Bex Gentry. So Saturday, 12 noon, 5 p.m. UK time is a beginner's run with Chase Tucker. Sunday, we go on to the pyramids at 5 a.m., uh, 10 a.m. UK time. Uh, check your schedule for that one. 8.35 a.m., uh, 1 p.m. in the UK, we have 20 minute 90s hip hop ride uh, with Kendall Tool. Hope everyone has an amazing week um, and I'll see you all soon. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jim. And that's the end of episode one. We hope you liked it. We really enjoyed doing it. And um, if you've got any thoughts or any comments, then drop them underneath the video or email us at tv at pellobuddy.com. Yeah, because I think, Mark, we have to recognize that this is going to be a show for the community, by the community. We want to hear what you guys think and what you guys would like to be able to see. So we encourage you to um, go online and like, share and subscribe to pedobuddy.com, as well as all the different social media channels, whether it be Facebook or Instagram. Make sure you continued to um, share what you would like to see in our next show. So thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.